Well, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to A Therapeutic Edge. Now, today on the table in front of us, we have a Tucson knife. Uh, I used to collect Tucson quite extensively, and I have sort of stopped uh, in the last year or so. Not because their knives are any less phenomenally well made or interesting. Uh, it's just I ran out of interest in getting them the only real way you can, which is on eBay. I don't, turns out I don't like competing for knives that way. Um, but every once in a while I poke around and I look for one um, in the right price range and uh, with the right materials that uh, appeals to me. And this is absolutely one of those. This is the TS-116. It is a Max Tchuk. Tchuk? Tchuk? I'm not sure how to say his last name. Sorry about that, bud. Uh, anyway, it is the TS-116. It is 14C28 in blade, st blade steel. Uh, it is steel liners. It is really interestingly milled G10 with a blue G10 backspacer. Nice deep carry pocket clip. This is just a spectacular knife, and it's big. I really like it. Now, Tucson continues to produce some of the sliciest blades on any knives I have ever owned. Uh, they are willing to grind these things down to a really nice edge, and the TS-116 here is no different. I love the shape of this thing. It is unique and interesting. Uh, you know, it's not really great if you're going to be doing a lot of cutting board work, but because the handle is actually a little higher than the blade, even with this shape, I did learn that you can get the blade right down onto the cutting board and chop with it, which I have done. And of course, 14C28N is really good steel for kitchen use in particular. Now, this knife is particularly stabby. Uh, it would suit you very well in the gas station knife fight of your choosing, should you be into such a thing. But moreover, it's just a really good big EDC knife in an interesting pattern and design. I really like this thing. It's got very little color on it. It's got the, as I said, it's got the blue G10 backspacer. And it's got just a little bit of color around the pivot on both sides, which I think is very cool. There is no lefty love. There is no way to swap pocket clip, which is kind of a bummer, but um, knives do that sometimes, don't they? Let's take a look at it in comparison to some other knives. Now, it is big. We'll get to its specs in a minute, but here it is against the Benchmade Bugout. As you can see, the TS-116 is much, much bigger. Let's move that down here. And our old friend, the Rat Model 1, which is a full-size knife, is still smaller than the TS-116. Well, how big is it? That is a great question. Let's answer that right now. On the TS-116, let me line that up where we need it to be, you get one, two, three, excuse me, one, two, three, and a half inches of cutting on three and three quarters inches of 14C28N. I love this choil. It is really well done. Grip area on this knife, well, let's do it from behind the uh, flipper tab first, is a very generous handle on it. You get one, two, three, four, a little over four and a half inches of just handle area, but if you add in the choil, you get one, two, three, four, five and a half inches of grip area. This is a very Roomy cockpit on a very nice knife. It is a nice thick chunk of 14C28N that comes down to a very stabby tip. It does have a uh, hole in it, which if you had smaller... Oh, look at that. <laughs> you, can spidey you can spidey flick this thing open, but um, it does take some digging. you got to be willing to get your finger in there pretty tight. Um, deployment is done more traditionally with this incredibly well done flipper tab, right? When this knife is in the pocket because of the shape, even though this is a little bit of a stabby object in the pocket, it stays very much out of the way and it's very small. Uh, this is more of a light switch, you know, so flick, although you can push button it too. One of my oldest complaints Man, the blade is filthy. It is a very high polish satin blade. 
and so it shows fingerprints quite a bit. Uh, one of my long-standing complaints with Tucson, particularly with their G10 knives, was their pocket clip. Uh, about a year ago, they started putting these uh, nice deep carry clips on their knives, and it has made all the difference in the world. This is an absolute joy to carry. The overall length of this monster is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, a little over 9 inches long. It's a big knife. That's the thing about Tucson. It didn't look that big in the pictures on eBay, but I'll tell you what, it's a big one. But it's not heavy. Um, let's take a look at that. All right, four point, oh, excuse me, four point one ounces for four inches almost of fourteen C twenty eight N blade steel coming in. at 3.6 millimeters. As I said, it is a nice thick chunk of 14C28N. The handle has a nice thickness to it. If we go to the thickest point, it is 15 millimeters or right at, there we go, just a little tiny bit over a half inch. It makes for a fantastic handhold. It really does. Now I've used this thing in Basic EDC tasks, uh, everything from, as I always say, cordage to boxes, uh, packaging. I've even cut up some food with it. Again, 14C28N is an excellent steel for that because it is very, very rust and stain resistant. Um, this knife has served me incredibly well because of this blade shape. It is marvelous for opening packages. I mean, you can just poke that tip into the box and just draw it back and it slices beautifully. It is good for push cuts, um, but if you tilt the blade in this way a little too much, you do run the risk of sliding the material into the choil. But if you're just pushing along, just like that, it works very well. And as I said, for push cuts in this way, and then draw cut, man, this thing is just a real slicer. It is an absolute joy. Now, I've mentioned many times that I'm not a huge fan of color on my knives, but this one was done so well. Just the backspacer, just the little pivot collars. Um, I love it. <laughs> I do. I think you will too. Now I paid about 70 bucks for this. Uh, because it's eBay, I can, eBay, wow. Okay. Because it's eBay, I can't tell you how much you'll pay for it. That's another complaint that I have with Tucson Knives. Still in all, this, the TS-116, is another real winner from Tucson. I very much wish that they had a U.S. distributor. There are some shops that carry Tucson knives, but you kind of pay for the privilege. I wish that they would just retail their knives from an online uh, retailer and give us the same prices that we've been getting on eBay, with, let's say within 5 or 6%. Um, I think they would sell an unlimited amount of knives and we'd all be very happy, right? However, uh, they seem to be content with their business model. And as that's the case, I think that's the way it's probably going to stay. The G10 on this thing, as I mentioned, is milled. You can see it, right? It's almost like fish scales, the way it's laid out. And it is really, it's not slick at all. I mean, it's not like grab your thumb grippy, you know, like something like this. But still, it it produces and provides a lot of grip. The action is Tucson good. You know, a uh, little wiggle and it drops shut. It is on bearings. Let me see if I can fail it. Nope. The detent is dialed in. It came... You know, uh, interestingly enough, it is just a little bit uh, to the show side. Um, but I think... Yeah, just a little to the show side. I hadn't really looked at that yet. The liners are reasonably thick. Uh, Lockup is fairly early. We're at probably about 25%. But um, it doesn't offer any wiggle. No blade play, no lock rock, no nothing. It is solid. 
It has a little jimping, of course, on the backspacer, uh, none on the lock bar relief or on the lock bar itself, and a little bit of jimping on the scales and spine, and then on the spine of the blade right where your thumb wants to land. But of course, if you move up to this choil, you're going to move past that. So it is smooth. All the edges are knocked down. There are no sharp edges anywhere on this knife except right where you'd want them. The TS-116 is just another excellent Tucson. It really is. If you want one, they are on eBay, or at least they were. I know that for a while there, a couple of weeks ago, uh, Tucson pulled all of its knives, or most of its knives, off eBay because of some of the chaos that's still going on in China. Um, but hey, if you want one, get one. You will not be disappointed. And we're going to go ahead and wrap it up there. Thank you so much. This has been the Tucson TS-116. I have been a Therapeutic Edge. If you have any questions about this knife or any of my knives, please feel free to ask down in the comments. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. I'd love to have you here on a regular basis. Once again, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.